Okay, Eufy fans, Eufy sent me another one of their security cameras. Uh, this one is the Solo Solar uh, S340 cam. So use it with the Homebase 3. And it's a completely solar 360 degree camera. So this should last you pretty much all year round as long as you have a decent uh, amount of sunlight coming to that area. Today we're going to set this up and try it out outside so I can kind of show you. Now I'm not going to do a full setup outside. It's going to be a bit of a mock setup. I'm not going to actually mount it. Um, but it is important for me to show you the camera and how the camera runs. Uh, now again, this is a completely wireless camera. So we should be able to just turn it on. Uh, we have our solar plug-in. So the solar plug-in, let me show you. This is the camera by itself. Can completely rotate 360 degrees. Has a built-in spotlight, dual lens camera. Right, really awesome design. This little solar panel, which they do have an extended cord as well. This will basically connect to the back of it. So let's see if we can open this up here. So you can see in the back here, there's a little USB-C plug-in. You're just going to plug in your cord right here which obviously again we have this extender over here so this cord is going to be a lot longer and you can just mount your solar panel anywhere they give you about an extra this looks like at least a meter of cord or more than that so you can see how far we can run it so your solar panel will connect in here that's all weather resistant water resistant and then from there you'll plug this into your actual camera right here let's see if we can get that in right there Perfect. Now they give you a solar panel mount. So this is, I believe this one is the solar panel mount. So you can actually mount your solar panel directly to your house. Once you run it up and you find a good spot for it to mount to, put in your mount, couple screws, and now you can have this mounted directly on the side of your house. Keeps your camera charged. This is the simple three screw mount for your camera. Once you have that mounted, and they do have a mounting template in there, you basically just, it looks like, slide your camera in place, and it locks into place like that onto the mount. So you can pull your camera off if you ever need to take it inside and charge it. Um, let's say you don't get enough solar. But I do want to try setting this up, so let's give this a try and see what we can do with it. So all I did there is I held down that sync button for a few seconds, and that's going to make that blue light flash. Obviously it doesn't need to be plugged in because it already has some charge with it. Let me show you the rest of the setup. So now we want to go into the Eufy app. We can see all these camera choices they find here. You want to find the camera that you have and we have what is a solar camera. So I believe it would be one of these ones at the top here. Let's scroll down. Oh, I think we're close here. Right here, the Solo Cam S340. Let's click on that one. We can connect it to my home network already. Now you can either connect this one with your router or your home base. I already have a home base. We're gonna go ahead and connect it with my home base. Now you wanna scan the QR code on your camera. Okay, now I had to resync it because I waited a little too long, so we're gonna wait for that beep. Now we can press next. And now what you wanna do is your phone is gonna generate a QR code. You wanna use the camera to scan the QR code. That allows it to connect to the Wi-Fi network. I heard two beeps, and now it's just going through that connection process. That's really as easy as it, as it is. That's pretty much it. Uh, we're gonna go throw this camera outside uh, and start to test it out. Now you can select where yours is located. Mine's my side door, so I'm gonna go there. And then you can set the battery life and stuff like that. I'm just gonna go optimal battery life. It's just better. And then most efficient for notifications. You can see I'm getting spammed with notifications. Okay, we're gonna go like this. Uh, we are, we're not going to mount it today, so I'm going to skip through all of this. Skip through this part as well. Okay, so now all my cameras are listed here. This is our brand new one, Backyard. Now, this one is upside down right now because I don't have it properly mounted, but we can just tilt it like that. So take a look at that. We're upside down here. Let's go to Pan and Tilt. See how we can just completely rotate it 360 degrees. We can also zoom in 3x right here and look at how clear that is for quality, all right? It does such a good job. Let's go back to 1x and we can move pretty much all the way around and get the full view of our backyard just with this one camera. There's also, of course, the sound option where it's going to pick up sounds from outside, record, and then our light, which is perfect for nighttime, although this does have night vision. Now inside here, there's a bunch of different options, such as connecting to our home base, which is going to help with local recording. That way you're not using cloud storage. 
motion detection where you can create activity zones. So these are areas where the camera will pick up motion. You can also set the sensitivity so it's more sensitive or less sensitive. And then what you want it to pick up, either vehicles, pet detection, all motion, human detection, and AI tracking. You can check your power manager where it's gonna tell you how much it's being charged from the sun. And then you can also set some different battery life settings. They even have a solar dashboard, which is gonna tell you when it gets the most sun and the most charge. There's also pan and tilt settings, which we kind of looked at, and then some preset positions. Now these are positions you want it to always go back to once you're done playing around with it. And you can set up to four of those positions. So that's a really cool feature. There's also your spotlight setting where you can choose the brightness. So overall, this is a really great camera. The fact that it's solar charging, I love that these cameras are all wireless, all solar charging. So they're recording all day long whenever somebody gets into the frame. Definitely one of my favorite solar cameras so far.